Hey everyone and all of my Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts and all of my Terribly Awesome Mocking Boobs and Vets. It's your girl Claire again, back with another video. video. <sighs> Nicholas announced the series of measures. People are being asked to limit social contact for two hours on either side of, either side of Christmas. Shops and businesses will be required to take measures to limit the spread of COVID, such as screens and shops and crowd control in bars. Care home residents can only have visitors from two households who will need to be tested. Employers will have a legal duty to let staff work from home. People have to isolate for 10 days, regardless of vaccin vaccination status or negative test, if, if anyone in their household tests positive for COVID. They will also have to isolate if they've been in close contact with someone from another household who tests positive and take a PCR test if it's negative and they're double vaccinated if they can end isolation. Two means of physical distancing rules remain in healthcare settings such as hospitals, GP surgeries and dentists. Face covering still compulsory on public transport and most indoor spaces. All school staff and secondary pupils wear face coverings indoors or over 18 is required to keep their vaccine status or show a negative test in nightclubs. People are urged to take LFTs before mixing with other households. Care staff, care home staff are asked to test themselves every day. Some venues and events will be legally required to check the COVID status of visitors over 18 from Wednesday if, if approved by MPs. Proof of feeling being fully vaccinated proof of a negative test or an exemption will be needed. Face coverings are compulsory in most indoor public venues, including theatres and cinemas, as well as on public transport and in places like shops and hairdressers. Masks won't be needed in pubs or restaurants of any like gyms where it's not practical. People should work from home if they can. Pupils at secondary schools are strongly advised to wear face coverings in common areas, as should staff and visitors at all schools and childcare settings. One metre plus social distancing remains in places, including hospitals. Anyone who has COVID symptoms must self-isolate. Self-isolation is for people who test positive vaccinations. People are being urged to take laptop flow tests before going out. For example, shopping or visiting others. They are also now being asked to wear masks in pubs and restaurants and not eating or drinking. NHS COVID pass needed for entry to nightclubs, cinemas and theatres and concert halls and many other indoor and outdoor events, working from home whenever possible, compulsory face coverings in schools and public transport in shops and hospitals, a limit of 30 people in different households mixing in homes, face coverings compulsory in shops, indoor seated venues and visitor attractions, public transport and other settings, post primary pupils must wear a face covering inside School buildings as well as school transport. Staff are encouraged to wear masks in school areas where they can't safely distance. Work from home whenever possible. Anyone travelling to the UK has to take PCR test. The autumn term is coming to an end for schools throughout the UK. Rejects and backdrop of rising COVID rates. Across the UK, some schools have already cancelled festive shows and fairs, moved them outside, or arranged for Zoom concerts and shows online. Others are letting events go ahead after carrying out risk assessment. So the events can go ahead, but in well ventilated spaces with visitors testing beforehand and wearing face coverings. In England, the government says every school people should wear face coverings in common areas and school transport, but does not advise they will need to ask. However, staff and visitors in all educational settings should wear face coverings in shared spaces, including primary schools and nurseries. In Wales, secondary school people should wear face masks in the classroom as well as in common areas. Staff and students in colleges and universities should also wear face coverings inside. In Scotland, face coverings have remained compulsory for secondary school staff and pupils in school premises. Primary school staff need to wear masks in corridors and shared areas such as canteens and staff rooms. In Northern Ireland, post primary pupils must wear a face covering inside school buildings as well as on school and public transport. Staff are encouraged to wear masks in class and other school areas but can remove them if they can safely distance. Social distancing has been relaxed for schools in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, but head teachers can introduce anti-COVID measures if they wish. 
In Scotland, more restrictions are being maintained, including social distancing requirements. Allowing staff to work from home if still possible is going to be a legal requirement again in Scotland. In Scotland employers have been told they are legally required to allow staff to work from home if possible until at least the middle of January. In England, people have been told they should work from home if still possible. The Northern Ireland ministers said that more people working from home would help to reduce the risk of infection. In Wales, employers are encouraged to let people work from home if possible. Minimising visitors, improving ventilation, using warm weather systems, home addition cleaning. Face coverings are mandatory for staff and customers in shops and public transport. Quality food. From home, working from home is one of the most effective ways to reduce social exposure. Wearing a mask helps with both keeping and ventilation. People in Scotland have been asked to reduce to limit socialising to three households at a time. Um, Socialising, we are seeing that we limit the number of households we're performing in group to a maximum of three. So make sure you check if you're in three. No more than two people to visit a parent or pay someone's office during the same time. Care homes should not involve any more than two households. The alternative measures to cut down crowding, physical distancing, the employers and staff to work from home. People in Scotland have been strongly advised to limit contact with other households in the run-up to Christmas. Both government has already urged workers to forego work Christmas parties and now also asked for people to limit time spent with other households where families do plan on socialising together. They are also asked to limit social contact to other households besides Christmas. Keeping celebrations as small as possible. Everyone should vaccinate, be vaccinated and must test in advance. Rooms should be well ventilated. Hygiene rules should be followed. Stay home residents will only be able to see people from two households on a single visit. It's also we introduced compulsory face coverings for those indoor spaces. Large groups can still hold parties in houses, bars, nightclubs. Schools are also, held, are also allowed to hold events for parents to hear. At the moment, there's no limit to the number of people can meet indoors or outdoors. Face coverings remain compulsory, most in store public places, and public transport. Um, a maximum of 30 people from an unlimited number of households can meet indoors. Face coverings are compulsory in shops, indoor city venues. I think I'm going to sneeze. Bless you. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's not COVID. I just have to bend from so yeah. It's not COVID. <coughs> Fudge. Yeah, I've been talking to a couple of people. You know, like my sister and my um, Annie as well. Who like the college tried to fudge over. Well, I mean, first the college fudged me over, and now Annie, because apparently they're not allowing her counselling, counselling even though she should be allowed. And Annie, because she was watching my most recent video that I did. Well, it's like, sort of like towards the end, I was like talking in a funny voice. It was like a funny character voice, you know, like Zoom. Inside the Zoom. I think that's why I like doing those TikToks, because I like being someone else other than myself, like being a character or whatever. Um, and just general other things. And apparently I coughed and hiccuped at the same time, like when I said his name. I said his name. <laughs> Don't remember doing that, but then again, I was high on caffeine. So. Yeah. But hey, he said that I did. So. Yeah. 
Why would you have such a creepy laugh when my mum's watching Killer Kids? Uh. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, please feel free to leave a like, comment down below, share this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This has been your girl Claire saying peace out to all of my Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts and keep on rocking totally awesome rocking dudes and dudettes and be yourself, stay yourself and stay loyal my pros and princesses, and stay royal my princes and princesses. This has once again been Claire saying God bless you, good night and catch you in the next video. Bye!